Hello again. For this lesson, we'll learn linear motion. Linear motion is the motion in a straight line. Let's start from the introduction of distance, displacement, speed, and velocity. First, distance. Distance is defined as the total length of path. Second, displacement. The definition for displacement is the distance traveled in a specific direction. And we know that scalar is a quantity that only has magnitude, whereas vector is a quantity that has magnitude and direction. So displacement is a vector quantity, and whereas distance is a scalar, since the direction is not important. Now. I'll show you some example to differentiate distance and displacement. Given a city A, a city B, and a city C, a driver needs to travel from city A to city C. So, the driver takes the route from A to B and B to C, and so the distance traveled The distance traveled by the driver is 100 meter plus 200 meter equals to 300 meter. However, for displacement, we mentioned that it's a distance traveled in a specific direction, which means that when you need to calculate the displacement traveled from A to C, you have to give only this direction, only one direction. If you give A to B and B to C, the definition is not valid since there are two directions. So, the displacement is 200 meter. Next, speed and velocity. Speed is the rate of change of distance. And since we said that it is a rate of change of distance, so the formula for speed is the distance over time. Whereas for velocity, it is the rate of change of displacement. And for the formula, is the displacement represented by the letters S over the time. So, next, what is acceleration? We know that when a car 
is going faster and faster and faster, the car experiences acceleration. Therefore, we give the definition of acceleration as rate of change of velocity. And the formula change of velocity v over time. Or you can write it as the final velocity v minus initial velocity u over time. So when v, the final velocity, is greater than u, we can say that the object is accelerating. And when v, the final velocity, is lesser than the initial velocity, which means that the car goes slower and slower. And so, the car is decelerating. And look at the definition, the rate of change of distance. Therefore, the speed is a scalar. And the velocity and acceleration, displacement is a vector quantity. And velocity is a vector also. So, both velocity and acceleration are vector. So, when you do the calculation, make sure you take into account the direction. That's all for the introduction of linear motion. Um, hope you understand well about these five quantities and stay tuned for my next lesson. Thank you.